no one understands anything about matter zigbee thread and rightfully so so before we mainly add two types of smart devices the zigbee ones and the wi-fi one not counting the non very common one lora and z-wave devices starting from 2022 matter arrived which is to clarify not a technology in itself but more like a software a standard per se which works on top of three technologies wi-fi bluetooth and a new technology called thread thread and zigbee are almost identical hardware wise they are very similar if not the same we have only sole differences like be able to have IP addresses for thread devices which in terms of user experience doesn't really impact the, the user to justificate a change from Zigbee to thread and the goal of matter was to unify the process and overall make the user experience feel great and make everything more compatible and although in some way it succeeded as we see many many more devices working over matter over Wi-Fi which is first cutting off the cloud which is great and second more compatibility for all of the main uh, ecosystems on the second hand of the spectrum we have thread which is a mess and to be fully honest all of my matter over thread devices have brought me a lot of problems my zigbee devices which zigbee is an old technology i think it began in the early 2000s it has been the most reliable devices that i ever had zigbee is better than wi-fi and thread and matter combined in my personal opinion i think that a better choice would have been that matter worked over wi-fi zigbee and bluetooth so the issue not only comes from the technology thread which is in itself very great it's how the software side of it and and the companies handled it. On the open source side, we had Home Assistant release the Sky Connect a few years ago, which had a promise to bring what is called the multi-pan, which means that the dongle would be able to run both simultaneously, Zigbee and Thread. And as much as I hate to say it, it was kind of a letdown. As per today, it is still showed as non-stable on the Home Assistant page. On the matter side of things, Home Assistant has a great matter add-on, but it works great and with an issue only on Home Assistant OS, meaning that Home Assistant users that are on Docker version of Home Assistant have more trouble installing it. And this is one of the main reasons why I'm going to switch to Home Assistant OS. For example, Sona for at least a year has been working on multi-pan Zigbee and Thread compatibility and has released the free update of the Zigbee Dongle E, allowing users to have an experimental version of what the multi-pan should really be. This video is not sponsored at all. I just think that brands releasing free updates for their existing devices need to be celebrated. And I'm not talking about brands selling you products like RoboVacuum or smart other appliances, promising you matter compatibility and only releasing it one year after. And if you watched my last videos, I recently talked about the Zigbee Dongle Max and the Zigbee Dongle Plus, which boasts multi-pan perfect compatibility. So in the following videos, I'm going to attempt to switch from the Home Assistant Sky Connect to the Zigbee Dongle Max to see how well it works on the Zigbee network, if I will have to repair all of my devices, and on top of all, if the multi-pan compatibility works great. And how hard it is to move from one Zigbee Dongle to another, and if this dongle works great. So feel free to follow me if you don't, and I see you on the next one. Bye.